Hello. This is the game queen. Go away, start bar. What are you doing now? Yeah. Skip that. Sorry you have to skip that one. Let's watch this instead. So. While the intro plays, I want to face that. Okay, this is just the characters. Oh, look, it's a Dalton. Arnold and. Yeah. I'll do an introduction while I'm typing in my name. Because you could do that. Oh, it's a Jaguar thing. Okay. Buses were not meant to be birds. Or bullfrogs, but that's not the point. You might get baked into a biomedic school bus. Uh. All over the world, which is like seven places, but that's not the point. Hi, this is the Game Queen here, and we are... Thank you. Okay. We're playing the Magic School Bus. Yeah, bus. That was not right. The Magic School Bus explores the world of animals. A fun-filled fact-pack science adventure. I'm reading off the CD case. Hmm. Yay! Are you ready to go? My cursor disappeared. Ah, there it is. Did not mean to click on. So I'm on a Magic School Bus kick because it was my favorite show. Yes. Indeed. Let's go. Loud, I Oh, I didn't realize their voices are very strange in this one. But this is a good game. Okay, time to click on stuff. Click on stuff. Are really awesome. Look at how they glow when you shine the right kind of light on them. UV light. Check FYI. Out water snake. If he's really still, he looks like part of the plant. No. It's called camouflage, and it helps him hide from both his predators and his friends. I'm clicking on everything. I hope you people learn something. Wow, that lion's teeth look awfully big. It's a good thing, too, since he's a carnivore and needs strong, sharp teeth to eat meat. <laughs> That's a scarecrow. I did my report on crows, one of the noisiest birds in my neighborhood. Next to the blue jay, that is, who is the crow's cousin. All that calling must run in the family. Thank you. Clicking on random stuff. Oh. They're repeating. Ah, oh, that's cheating. Cheating, 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 cheating. Aww. Okay, let's see what it has to say. My mom says I sleep like an elephant seal because I'm such a deep sleeper. She can practically sit on me and I won't wake up. I remember their voices being very different. These are my pet goals for fastball, shortstop, and slugger. Um. Fastball, shortstop, and slugger make good pets. They don't wake me up to let them out in the morning, and the best thing is, they don't poop on the floor. That's very direct. Okay. Last night, this pro I knew, Picasso, came around with his buddy. Boy, were they making a racket. I went outside and there they were, chasing away a hawk. Sounds like a girl. Uh, you can't get real raccoons into the classroom. And the trash goes out. I have an alarm clock that wakes me up in the middle of the night. It's a raccoon who thinks our garbage is a gourmet meal. My report is on domestic horses. How did you get that horse in here? It's so small. What did you do? S what has science done? Science has engineered tiny little horses that can now be in the classroom. Amphibians and reptiles by Ralph. What's the difference between an amphibian and a reptile? No, I don't know. Why don't you tell us? Because that's why I clicked on it. 
Amphibians, like this frog, have slimy bodies and lay their eggs in the water. Frogs and salamanders need to stay wet because Yummy. some of them actually freeze through their moist skin. Reptiles, like this lizard, don't need to stay wet. They have scaly skin covering their body, and the scales help to keep them from drying out. Reptiles, like turtles and lizards, lay their eggs on the land. So do snakes, but some snakes, and even some kinds of lizards, don't lay eggs at all. Their babies come right out of their mother's body, just like mammals. I hope nobody's afraid of snakes or anything like that. Because I like snakes. Cold-blooded animals. Ooh, a video, a video, a video, a video, a video, a video. <gasps> Animals who need the sun to warm the up video. their bodies are called cold-blooded. It doesn't mean these cold-blooded iguanas are cold. Sexy Just iguanas. The same temperature Look at those. The, around them. the most ambitious oh reptiles, like this crocodile, who cooling off in the water with its eggs, that works just fine. But maybe not to this little lizard whose feet are burning up on the sand. He's out of here. Alright then. Slimy, scaly beast. Oh, video, video, this video. Huh. Were born underwater. E in fact, most amphibians, I'm like kidding. frogs and salamanders, lay their eggs underwater so that their eggs don't dry out. But once they're grown, you can find amphibians anywhere, even gliding from trees, like this flying frog. No, sound effects are added for comedic effect and do not actually happen in the wild. Reptiles, on the other hand, like iguanas, skinks, and turtles, they are up on the land. Okay. Oh. When the babies hatch, their scaly skin keeps Aww. them moist. Aww. He's a tiny turtle. Tiny turtle. Okay, done with that. We have three more ports. Let's look at them. Hopefully my computer won't freeze as much as it has been doing. Birds, by Carlos. A report that is really for the birds. Or about birds, that is. That was, a, find out that was about awful. Them? Click on a picture. Okay, yeah, we know. Click on pictures. That's why I clicked on the picture. Oh, a video, a video, a video. <gasps> this is a bird, and this is a bird, and this is a bird. If there's one thing all birds have in common, it's feathers. In fact, they're the only animals that have feathers. Birds also have hollow bones and very light teeth instead of heavy teeth. And why do you think everything about them is so light? So they can fly. But not all birds can fly, like this big ostrich and these penguins. But most birds, all they have to do is flap their wings and take to the sky. Wouldn't nature be more interesting if, if they had those sound effects? Ah, that would be way more exciting. Ow! Who? Who? Who finds its prey by using its hearing? The owl. Owls, like this barred owl, have really sharp hearing Look because how pretty their it ears, is. which are hidden by feathers, cover the entire sides of their heads. Yay, we're learning things. And when owls fly, they are totally silent because they have fluffy feathers and comb-like edges on their wings. That way, they can hear their prey instead of the flapping of their own wings. Yay. And how about those eyes? They are huge. They're pretty. Owls' eyes take in enough starlight so that on a moonless night, owls can see as well as we can on a fog day. How do they know that? How do people know that? Birds. Birds can't use their wings to hold things or even scratch themselves. Big bird. So sometimes they use their beaks to do the job. This penguin is using its beak to feed its baby chest. When you take the a brown one bird, the baby you actually. can also tell what it eats. Shorebirds, like this black necked silk, have long skinny beaks, like chewers, that they stick to the mud when they look for worms. Flamingos and ducks have beaks that work like this. Look at the baby. And the food stays in. Beaks also work as feeding spoons when mother and father birds feed their babies. Look at the baby. Look at the tiny bird's beak. 
It works like a straw, letting the birds sip nectar from the flowers. By the way, what was I about to say? Oh, flamingos start out white when they're born, and because of their diet, they get pink because they have shrimp in their diet. That's how it works. Bending the laws of nature. Oh, rodents. Wonderful rodents. Ah, we love rodents, don't we? Never see rodents. I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. No, oh, it's a fox. Oh, it's a seal. A high zebra. Three very random animals. Chipmunk. It's a chipmunk. Oh, it's. I'm a bear. I'm a bear. I'm not a bear. I'm a dolphin. No. Sad face. Wing and wowing and winging and out of the first room and I think I have to end the video. Oh my gosh, it's awful. Let's see. No, I'm gonna wait till next time to do that video. This is the Game Queen saying this is gonna take a really long time because there's too much stuff to click on. Goodbye everybody.